Good morning. When you're the eleventh speaker, especially following these distinguished speakers, and then a poet laureate, and then to be followed by a young man who will steal all of our hearts, it's a pretty rough assignment. But as the deputy director of the National Park Service, I take that responsibility, but I will try to be brief. <laughs> Welcome to all of you today who are distinguished guests. We are grateful for so many for helping to make Fort Monroe one of the 419 National Park units of the National Park System. We recognize the important, we recognize the important responsibility we have as stewards of Fort Monroe National Monument and its role in so many facets of our history. Since the creation of the National Park Service in 1916, 103 years ago tomorrow, our duty has been to care for America's extraordinary places and the stories they harbor. Certainly, many of our parks are beautiful landscapes, but they are also places where challenging events took place. National parks provide spaces for discussion, for reflection, and our shared American narrative. As we are doing here at Fort Monroe, today, tomorrow, and into the future. The 400th anniversary is a year-long commemoration and conservation conversation to recognize the high highlight of 400 years of African American history and accomplishments. The work of the 400 years of the African American History Commission, established by Congress and signed into law by President Trump last year, is administered by the National Park Service. It will extend through July of 2020. Civic, historical, educational, artistic, religious, and other organizations are invited to coordinate and participate in activities designed to expand the collective understanding and appreciation of African American contributions to the American experience. Tomorrow, national parks across the country will join with us here at Fort Monroe as we ring bells to remember the Africans who were brought here in bondage 400 years ago. And the generations of African Americans who struggled, overcame, and continue to strive for civil and social justice today. Just imagine, tomorrow at the Statue of Liberty, at Independence Hall, at Acadia National Park in Maine, the Everglades in Florida, Denali in Alaska, at the USS Arizona Memorial in Hawaii. at Tuskegee National, at Sarah at Harriet Tubman and the Underground Railroad. All of them will be in spirit and in strength as we go forward. We are grateful to our many partners who have made this weekend possible including the Commonwealth of Virginia, American Evolution 2019, the City of Hampton, the grassroots organization Project 1619, and Hampton Roads Community, the Fort Monroe Authority, and the United States Armed Forces who are supporting this event. I'd like all representatives of the National Park Service who are here to please stand briefly.